if you have a Mac Mini M4 or really any SBC or Mini PC, you know that buying the PC itself is only part of the equation. You often need to buy a ton of accessories to make it work the way that you want. Things like card readers, USB hubs, expandable storage, and the like can all add up pretty fast. Today we're taking a look at a mini PC docking station with all of that already built in. Oh, and it's cute as hell. Welcome back to Craft Computing, everyone. As always, I'm Jeff. Earlier this year at Computex, I stumbled onto one of the cutest Mac Mini docking stations in existence, and today I finally get to take a closer look at it. Now, I know a docking station probably isn't the most exciting product that I've ever shown off on the channel, but I really do like what's on offer here. I have an M4 Mac Mini that I use for quite a few things here around the office. And like all things Apple, there was a couple hardware decisions that made this model a little bit difficult to use. And I'm not just talking about the power button being on the bottom. The M4 Mac Mini has three USB-C ports around the rear and two more on the front, but that's all the expandability or accessory slots that you get. Now they are all 40 gigabit capable ports, so speed isn't the issue. It's more the number of things that you might need to plug into your Mac Mini. While I am happy with the wireless keyboard and trackpad from Apple, if you have a wired keyboard and mouse, you'll either need to make sure they are USB-C native or plug into a USB-C to type A hub. The Mini also has no built-in card reader, which as someone who primarily shoots video for a living can attest to, that's kind of important. Add in a USB-C webcam or any other variety of devices, and I'm easily tapped out when it comes to ports and expandability. A dock for a Mac Mini is not only crazy, for some people it's downright a requirement. A decent card reader and USB hub can easily run you $65, especially if you want one that matches the Mac Mini aesthetics, which let's face it, looks are important to quite a few people. So with that all out of the way, let's take a look at the Wacus, I believe is how you pronounce that, mini docking station for the Mac Mini and see why it'll probably be living on top of my Mac Mini from here on out. First off, yes, the dock is selling on Kickstarter and they did send this out to me for me to take a look at. Remember with all crowdfunding projects, there is no guarantee that you'll receive an item back and for you, there's little or no recourse. So make sure you do your due diligence and only spend money that you can afford to lose. The retro dock is designed to work with the M4 Mac Mini specifically, but will work with just about any mini PC or single board computer. It features a 5 inch 720p display and can receive input via USB-C over DisplayPort Alt mode or on the HDMI input around the back. On the front of the unit, we have a pair of 10 gigabit USB-A ports, an SD and micro SD card reader, along with a single 10 gigabit USB type C port. Around the back, we have another pair of 10 gigabit USB type A ports, bringing our total to four on the docking station itself. There's an HDMI input, again, for the five inch LCD screen right here. There's also a USB-C host port for connecting the dock to whatever mini PC you have, as well as a USB-C five volt, three amp power input if you're using a PC that can't provide enough power for the docking station. And finally, there's a 3.5 millimeter head jack built into the dock on the back if you'd prefer to pipe your audio from the back of the unit instead of from the front via the Mac Mini. That's a pretty great selection of ports and add-ons, but we're not quite done yet. There's a panel on the rear held in with magnets that's also hiding an M.2 slot for adding in an NVMe drive, expanding the pitiful 256 gigabytes of onboard storage on the stock Mac Mini, supporting up to eight terabytes of Gen 3x4 storage if you so desire. Now at this point, it is important to note that Wacus is selling two different models of the retro dock. One they call the 10 gigabit dock and another they're calling the 80 gigabit dock. I have the 10 gigabit model here, which is entirely USB based. And that means the Mac mini is sharing bandwidth among all of the USB ports in the docking station limited to 10 gigabit per second. They're also making a Thunderbolt powered dock complete with an Intel 9480 Thunderbolt 5 controller, upping the host bandwidth to up to 80 gigabit per second, along with a couple of other improvements like increased power delivery over the USB-C accessories. Prices are $109 for the 10 gigabit dock and $209 for the 80 gigabit dock. Really, it comes down to how much speed you want out of that NVMe drive, as that's really the only thing in the dock that will benefit from increased bandwidth. And keep in mind, the Mac Mini is using Thunderbolt 4, which is only 40 gigabit at max speed anyway. For my money, the 10 gigabit dock feels like a much better deal, even if it winds up being limited to 10 gigabit speeds. 
As far as build quality, the case itself is nice and sturdy, and all the pieces of the case fit together nicely. The port layout is solid, and I especially love that everything is blended into the retro aesthetic. Yes, a docking station that looks like a matte color classic is a bit silly. It doesn't serve a purpose except to look cool, but it's also executed extremely well. There's an SD card reader where the floppy drive would go for crying out loud, and the display is functional, unlike a mini PC with similar looks that I reviewed last year. I'm sure someone out there has a use for a tiny 720p display, but I couldn't think of one. Personally, I've been putting Plex on here and letting it stream shows just to add a little visual interest to my desk. At only five inches, it's actually decently sharp and perfect for exactly this, a second display for displaying media. It's unfortunately a bit too small for Discord or even tool sets and apps like Photoshop, but as a quirky feature, I actually quite like it. But there are a couple of things that I don't like about the dock. First, while it holds the Mac Mini M4 like a glove, there's nothing to actually hold the Mac Mini inside of it. It's two very separate pieces, and if you lift up on the Mac Mini Retro dock, the Mac Mini just falls out from underneath it. I would love to see a mechanism of some kind that would actually mount the Mac Mini M4 inside of this case so I could pick it up as a single unit. But as it is, right now if you pick up the Retro dock, the Mac Mini just falls out from under it. And while it's great for the Mac Mini M4, as a docking station for other mini PCs or SBCs like a Raspberry Pi, it's slightly less than stellar. It has a bottom shell that you can install onto the dock, but there's no cutouts for any of the I.O. There's no mounting points for a Raspberry Pi or any other SBC. As it is, anything else besides a Mac Mini is either going to hang out the back or just kind of sit in this empty docking station, but there's not even a way to get your cables out of here without cutting the case apart. This is definitely only for the Mac Mini M4, unless you want to seriously modify something. I would love to see them release a 3D model of the bottom plate to allow the 3D printing community to run wild with accessories. But as it is right now, you'll need to design your own mounts for whatever other PC you want to bring to this if you plan on using hardware outside of the Mac Mini M4. And one very nitpicky complaint, the SD card slot only accepts cards that are face down. I know that sounds stupid, and I know they're simply using a card reader from a vendor and they had to mount it into the PC somehow, but I feel like that doesn't make it a finished product. Attention to detail matters in things like this, especially when it's all about aesthetics. Whether the SD card is face up or face down does matter to the polished feel of the overall unit. But overall, I really do like the Retro Dock. It is probably more expensive as a docking station for the M4 Mac Mini than simply buying a USB hub, a card reader, and an NVMe enclosure. But it's a single cable solution in a tidy package, and as I said at the top of the video, that screen and the overall aesthetics make this thing absolutely cute as hell. If you're interested in backing the Wacus Retro Dock, I will have a Kickstarter link down in the video description. And while you're down there, make sure to head on over to craftcomputing.store and pick yourself up some of my official merch. These wooden bottle openers are a personal favorite of mine. But that's going to do it for me in this one. Thank you all so much for watching, and as always, I will see you in the next video. Cheers, everyone. What am I drinking today? Uh, Monster Energy Ultra Paradise, zero sugar, because I got about two hours of sleep last night and uh, I am tired. It's certainly and drink.